Hello friends. In this lesson, I will show you how to analyze the doublet of doublet of doublet DDD. When DDD will come, what is the calculation of J value and shift value of this peak? So this is a typical case of triplet when this two proton has same J value towards the this proton. The chemical shift of this two proton is also same and J value toward this proton is also same. But what happened when the chemical shift are different and J value is also different? So coupling of HA and HD is not same as HC and HD and HB and HD. So this type of the example you will see the DDD will come. So this is coupled to this one and this coupled to this one and one coupling is long range coupling this one. So eight signal are produced in this spectra. So this is a typical table for doublet of doublet. So JX is very small, JY is greater, far greater than JX. So 666 and JZ is variable. You will see when the coupling constant are same, you will get some different type of spectra. Such combination are exist and you will get this type of spectra. So this is an example of this type of spectra when J15 is equal to J13 plus J12. So this is J12, 1 to 1 to 2. I mean, pick this one, pick this one. If you calculate this, you will get J12. Similarly, J13, J15. You will get also encounter this type of example, which is center peak is triplet but have different chemical shift of proton but the J value is resist in such combinations. So I will discuss later on this type of cases but now in this tutorial I will focus on this type of system which has 8 peak. So this is a typical the other shape of uh, sorry this is a doublet of doublet here you can say right So this is ex uh, expanded peaks on the scale when you have large 1J value then split into smaller then again into smaller. So this type of molecule HA is an existing aromatic molecule. HA coupled to HB, H coupled to HC and HA coupled to HD. Here is the substitute. So this is a spectra of this type of molecule, this is a real spectra from spectrophotometer 300 megahertz um, NMR spectrophotometer of this molecule. There is some, something is substitution here. So how you calculate the J value in this system? So this is 8 peak, just click on this one, click on this one, you will get minus N into multiply the frequency of spectrophotometer you will get 1.38 this click on click on this 1 to 3 peak you will get j value so minus these two values from each other and multiply by the spectrophotometer frequency you will get the j value so 7.37 minus by this one 7.356 you will get J2. So J3 is 1 to 5. So in this uh, example I will say you must match this J value with other peak J value. Sometime you will get same J value as 
exist is in other peaks from this peaks not this sometimes it's 1.4 to the other proton so click on this one click on this if you get 1.4 here then report that j value sometimes it's become a, um, I mean came from experimental error 1.38 so also take care about the other j value so 1 to 2 is smallest j value 1 to 3 is second j value 1 to 5 is the third j value you can take from this side this one 1 to 2 1 to 3 1 to 5 and match the j value with other peaks then report like 7.345 doublet of doublet 7.51 hertz for one proton and ch and you can calculate the j uh, shift value average of the 1 to 8 from this one to this one or you can take a center peak 4 and 5 then click on this and click on this add this and divide by 2 and average of the these two peaks report the chemical shift so more complex pattern will analyze using this doublet of doublet table bdd and td and how you calculate the k value of the complex pattern there is a special procedure for that i will tell you maybe in next video so please like and subscribe me thanks